Okay, two more concepts that I want to I want to give you this early, and I want you to focus on these concepts because they're going to become more and more important as the as the course goes on. Um, and those are the concepts of block tagging or block formatting and inline tagging or inline formatting. So the inline tags, um, uh, excuse me, the block tags represent the large, well, blocks on the screen. They're rectangular areas on the screen that we reserve for, for example, a paragraph. Think about a paragraph on a print page or on a web page. It's got space all around it. It's actually a rectangle. You could draw the little rectangle around the paragraph and see that it forms one block, one grid, one cell on the overall page. Block tags do that. Block tags create the overall large-scale layout of the page. They're always rectangles, and they're always inside other rectangles. The largest rectangle is the border of the screen. Inside that rectangle is the window that you're looking at. Inside that window is another rectangle, which is the area that you can define with HTML inside of a browser. And then inside of that client area of the browser, you get to decide what the blocks are. You get to decide what the cells are. You get to decide what the rectangles are. That's the block level tagging. Loosely, you can sort of think about it as, power, as the paragraphs, like P tags will create blocks, and table tags will create blocks, and horizontal rules will create blocks. Those are all the different kinds of block tags that HTML offers. Um, but I want you to think of the concept of block not really as the concept of paragraphs, but as the concept of rectangles, the things that have space around them, the things that are the large-scale layout and look elements. And then inside those large-scale layout elements are inline elements, like bold, italic, underline, hyperlinks. Those sorts of things usually fall inside. They're continuous with what comes before and after. The block tags are discontinuous. They have space around them. They're bordered. They can have padding and margin and all those sorts of things that the inline tags don't generally have. The inline tags are meant really to go inside those block tags and form, if you will, the character level of formatting on an HTML page. So the concept of block and inline are really important. I want you to focus on it now, research it, think about it so that you really get it down in this HTML context because we're going to come back to it in an XML context. And if you don't really understand the HTML context for block and inline tagging, then the XML context is going to be much